Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to help support this channel, it won't cost you anything. All you got to do is use the links in the description in case you want to pick up one of these for yourself. Hey, what's going on, Rich? Back with another awesome video for you. I wanted to show you this MSI Z370A Pro motherboard I just picked up, which has the Z370 chipset, which means it's going to take the eighth generation Intel Core chips. That would be the i3, the i5, and the i7. You're going to get your I.O. shield, which goes in the back of the case. You're going to get your SATA cables, which I'm not going to be using because I'm using an M2. Then your drivers and utilities, which come on DVD. Last but not least, we get our quick installation guide. And we get our manual. You don't want to really grab anything on the motherboard itself. You want to grab it by the edges. Put it down on the static bag. I'll try to show you everything on the motherboard. Of course, we have four DIMM slots right here. We've got our CPU slot right there. We've got two PCI slots right here. We've actually got six PCI slots and two for video cards. Our M2 slot, all three different sizes, goes right here. And of course, we've got a really good discrete audio section, so that should be nice. If you look at the prices of the i7 Intel chips and the, uh, the from the eighth generation to the seventh generation, they're about the same price right now. So it really doesn't make sense to get an older motherboard to be going with seventh generation chips when I could get the newer motherboard and I could go with the cheapest i3 to get a quad core and then later on I can go with the i7 six core. With the eighth generation six core, the i7, it's gonna be the same price as the seventh generation quad core, but it's gonna outperform it tremendously, especially for streaming and working with video and doing any kind of gaming recording and doing any kind of video editing. It doesn't make sense right now to spend $300 to get a, a seventh generation i7 when you can spend the same amount of money and get an eighth generation i7 and have a much better chip. So it doesn't look like it has an HDMI. It's basically looking for you to put a video card on. It has four USB 3.0 slots. It's got two other USB slots right here. Dual link DVI, it's got the old school VGA connectivity. Keyboard or mouse, six audio ports right here. And that's about it. So it does not have an HDMI slot, just to give you a heads up if you're going to do uh, HDMI output. So that pretty much wraps it up. If you wanted to help support this channel, please make sure to use the link in the description if you wanted to get one of these for yourself. And if you can, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content, and let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section down below. Thanks for watching. Take care.